Hello, welcome to my channel, Favored Readings. Today I wanted to try something a little bit more different and uh, make myself a little more vulnerable with my readings. I wanted to try out an ancient form of divination called uh, Rhapsodomancy. And that's where you take uh, scriptures or poems and try to find a um, message through them. Today I'll be doing three different piles and uh, I have markers here, oh not markers but uh, I have a little dice that don't really have numbers on them to help you choose which pile you would like to go with. Uh, and I have the first one here, it's just a little green see-through with a whole bunch of uh, shields on it. And for group number two, it has a, like a question mark and it looks like a security style of a symbol. And the third uh, has lightning and a Viking. I don't know whether or not group three will be drawn to stuff that uh, like Norse mythology and stuff like that. Um, it will be a general reading, so all of the messages may not resonate with you. Uh, take the messages that do, and remember you have free will and can make your own discernment from there. All right, so how I'm going to go about this is I will be rolling a number between one and 43, as that's how many I have written myself. And then I will, and that will be your feelings for yourself. And then the second roll of a dice that I'll be doing will symbolize the card and that will symbolize the matter of the fact and what's really going on. So if uh, you'd like to take a moment and uh, focus in on yourself to know which one you want to go with. Oh. It's like the opposite. There we go. Group one, group two, group three. All right, I will put the time inside of the uh, comments below or in the description box, I should say, and I will see you at your reading. All right, pile number one. If you chose the dice with the shields on it, this will be for you. All right, so I have a app a dice roller on here and it's just gonna press start and I will let you, whenever I feel, I will stop it. All right, you will be poem number 26, if it can show there. All right. And then I will roll for the tarot card for you. Do, 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 do. Okay, no Mario sounds. And stop. So you'll be card number 57. Let me just get to poem number 26. All right. For group number one, your poem is Gravitating Foundation. And it hands you, hands you a breathing apparatus, relief from choking on the sadness. Heartbreaking of it, callous, growth from toxic like phallus. Ending the suffering of sitting, grabbing gravitating towards a foundation more fitting. 
with I feel like the symbol from this and the poem I feel like group number one has been feeling like they needed to put up a wall and trying to decide where you want to go with your life like right now you're like choking on sadness from memories and feeling like you're left out but at the same time you haven't let down your wall so as much as that wall's there to protect you it also stops love from coming in and I think your group number one is starting to realize that and you're just wondering where to go from here um affirmations of self-love uh whenever you feel like you're beginning to feel you know old guilt and uh, uh shame and other negative emotions like that come up just from give yourself some credit and be like I've grown so much since then anyways that's my intuitive message from the poem now the matter of the situation which is 57 I made myself a little list here so I can remember what number exactly belongs to all 78 of the cards in the tarot deck Number 57 I have here is the Nine of Swords. So yeah, exactly. The situation of the matter is confirmation. Nine of Swords uh, usually indicates that one is feeling trapped, but not actually trapped. In the usual tarot deck, it has a female, it doesn't have to be gender specific, uh, whose eyes are bound and she's surrounded by swords but if you notice there's ways to move around all that swords so and also swords symbolize the mind so it seems like group number one you just need to stop being so hard on yourself and let down your um defenses a little You've been through enough and you know the warning signs that if someone's not treating you well enough, that you know how to make a dis discern decision on how to move on and put up boundaries that are necessary because you know that you deserve um, the, a foundation more fitting. So I believe that's uh, all the messages we need to to go over it's pretty straightforward that you're working on letting your guard down and being more vulnerable uh hopefully seeing me do it with reading out my poems is a very uh intimate thing for me will inspire you to do so yourself uh, and i congratulate you on knowing that you deserve better and making the uh strives to to achieve that so i'm gonna end that off there Thank you for um, watching, and I hope you enjoyed the new type of video. All right, I'll be moving on to pile number two. Remember to eat, hydrate, and have fun. All right. For group number two, I seen that you had question mark and security. I'm getting an intuitive feeling that some of you maybe having um, problems with uh, insecurity or possibly just security at all you're worried about you know being secure within your life but we'll go ahead with the poem and uh, card poll so i have 43 so right here i put in i'll start and I will stop it when intuitively go. And your poem will be number 36. Okay, and let's do for the tarot card. Yeah, I feel some stubborn. Oh, there we go. Stubbornness. 36 and 37. So it seems like you guys are really around that 30 mark may be important to you. Threes and sixes and sevens because three and three equals six, which is the first number. So three, six and sevens may be important to you. 
I will scroll to my 36th poem. Okay. <clears throat> sure, I brought my water bottle with me. Maybe some of y'all need water too. And it's kind of ironic considering number 36 for group number two. Your poem is Waterfall of Refuck. Waterfall of Reflection. All right. Encountered undercurrent, encompassed disempowerment, shrouded past, sins surpassed, memory submerges, generational curses, desired health, becoming oneself. Redemption contends, inner soul cleanse. So I feel for group number two, like I said earlier, that you would have uh, problems with insecurity, maybe a bit of anxieties or um, depression, stuff like that, that's, you know, gets passed down from, you know, um, genetics and stuff like that. And it seems like you really want to um, work on getting over that and being able to see yourself for who you really are instead of focusing on you know stereotypes that come uh, along with um, mental health or physical health issues or um, you know maybe not even those maybe you just don't fit the social norm and you have struggles with your um, your um, security within yourself due to that. Uh, number 37, I have a little sheet here so I can go to the cards right away because there's so many and I don't remember which number they are all the time except for the major arcana, which one through 22. Um, 37 is four of swords. So in the four of swords, you have someone who is laying down and just feeling a lot in their head. So maybe you've been feeling like you've been taking time to rest your body. Maybe you've been sick. It doesn't have to be mental health or, like I said, physical health. You may be sick if you are. Um, maybe get a speedy recovery. Remember to drink lots of fluids and rest, it seems you're doing. So um, resting doesn't make you weak. Uh, it seems like you may be feeling down and out because you've had to rest or take time to work on your personal self. If you are, I'm proud of you. It is a hard decision sometimes. Not always. Some people find it very easy, but sometimes it can be hard to make the decision to, to go and do self-care and take programs and stuff like that to better yourself, get, get a therapist, stuff like that. It's... Um, I know there's stigmas with it, but uh, honestly, I think it makes people very brave and um, caring. Uh, most self-caring step you can do is you know, want to do that. So, you know, all these things don't reflect who you truly are. And I think um, with the uh, Four of Swords, it's like, you know, those thoughts in your mind um, for your... your desired health, affirmations of I am in perfect health, I am doing the best I can, stuff like that. Um, if you, it also says sins and cleansings, so that brings up the matter of the fact of addictions, whether it be too much social media, um, drinking, um, smoking too much, you know, uh, sometimes it's nice to take a break, you know, you get a better tolerance. Uh, it also is, you know, gives you time to work on yourself if that's what you want to do. Um, but yeah, uh, it was one four three on the clock not too long ago, which means I love you. So maybe you need to, uh, some of you need to hear that you are loved and deserving of love and you are deserving of love. Uh, especially from yourself. All right. I hope you all enjoyed uh, group number two.
my new uh, form of divination with uh, opening up and letting you guys hear my poems. Um, remember to hydrate, eat, and have fun. And I'll be moving on to group number three. Group number three, if you chose the lightning bolts, no, sorry, I'm a little lightning bolts, and the Viking, or I think it'd be Thor, maybe some of you work with Thor, or lightning gods, or maybe some of you just feel like you have a storm inside of you that you need to, like, become a warrior and fight against. Uh, that's some intuitive things I'm getting at. All right, so I have a roller app here, a dice rolling app. So I put 43 because that's how many poems I've wrote in so far. So we'll get started. All right, we'll stop it when I intuitive for you. The number four. Sweet. Okay, your poem is number four, and seven, eight, and now we'll pick your your card to go with it. All right, you should be ready for it. And card, and there we go. Number seventy. So let me just scroll to my fourth poem. All right. This may be heavy for some of you and this may not resonate with all. I just want to know before I read it, it before I re read it, read it, it. Good job. Uh, either way, uh, number four is called The Child That Never Was. Now, some of you, this may mean that uh, you may have a rainbow baby, or it just may mean that your inner child, that you never got to be loved or cared for as a child, so you missed out on your childhood. Take it as it resonates. And here's the poem. The Child That Never Was. Never felt in my arms, still desperate to keep from harm. Lost before you started to show, the child no one shall ever know. Now you're free, for it was never meant to be. So it could be a loss of a sibling or a parent as well that you may have lost and you know they don't get to see anything that comes up in your life in the future that you're missing as well. Um, if that is the case, uh, my condolence condolences for all scenarios. My heart and trying to cry right now. Um, yeah, I know it can be a very hard subject. Um, and uh, yeah. For you, some of those who have lost your childhood, uh, or, you know, didn't get to grow up with a parent, remember, guys, uh, you're deserving, you're deserving love, and you always get more opportunities of love in your life. Um, but I'm gonna, if you need to cry, you cry, you're allowed, oh, uh, gotta remind that to myself, um, Number 70 is a card that I have written down on a list because I can't remember all of them in order through 78. I just wrote them down all in order. All the tarot cards. Number 70 is the King of Cups. 
and the reality of the situation, even though you feel like that on the inside and you're still hurting from it, that you are still abundant in love. And you are still abundant in opportunity. And for those who missed out on their childhood, you still have a chance to live it out as you would like. Parenting yourself is hard. If you lose a parent, if your parent wasn't there, if you lose a child, and you gotta learn how to parent yourself through that because not everyone knows how to deal with that. And the King of Cups talks about being overflowing with abundance of love and caring. You all know I'm gonna bring up the book because I'm having a hard time to remember right now from crying. <sighs> compassion. So the one you have compassion for yourself. It was a hard thing to go through. And you are loved and you're still beautiful and wonderful and good things are still gonna come your way. Really, they want you to know that, you know, it may never go away, but you can heal. Yeah. But yeah. I'll show you in the book. There's a king who sits with the cup and his cup is overflowing and it's not like he needs it because you know, he has a cup of water and there's dolphins in the back there. And so um, I know dolphins have really good symbolism as well. I'm just going to look it up here again. Dolphins is the mammal that links humans and nature. So it is a symbolism of rebirth, reincarnation, and renewal. So if you have lost someone, they want you to let you know that they love you and they are watching out for you and wish you all the very best and all of the, all the love. And uh, yeah, that's um, that's my message for you, group number three. Um, my heart goes out to you. And I'm sending love your way and cheering you on. Um, I hope you enjoyed and resonated with my new style of reading. I will be posting more in the future. I hope you uh, have a wonderful day. Remember to eat, hydrate, and have fun. All right. Until my next video. So long.